So we're gonna go out to the barn to check to see if anybody had any progress overnight. But guys, look what we woke up to. It's like real winter here now. <laughs> so we're out already this morning checking some of these girls. We put Mossy and Tiana into kidding pens because their time's getting pretty close, judging by their udders and just how the babies are starting to settle in them. But her ligaments are super soft this morning. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. See, she's, yeah, and she she's really not wanting me to touch, but. Yeah, those ligaments are pretty soft. I'm really thinking we're gonna have some babies again today, guys. Is it today? Well, guys, this morning it was snowing. Last night it was freezing rain. And you guys can tell we've already got a little bit of a warm up going. So all that snow is already going away. We just got in here, and Mossy is starting to go into active labor. So because I'm out here already, we already knew she was kind of getting close. She was having light contractions earlier, and her ligaments were gone this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and gather some things to get ready for this birth. So hold on with me and hopefully when you tune in we'll have some coverage of some babies coming because she is pushing guys. Here we go, guys. There's the first one. Looks like there's another right behind him. Here we go, Mama. Here we go, Mama. Yeah, there we go, Mama. Here we go. Not the next one right behind. Here, let's get this one out of the way. Oh, boy. <coughs> right behind. Right behind in the sack. I can't do hold and do this. <coughs> some trouble with these sacks this year. It's the second one, the sack didn't want to break right away. I think they would break them. They yeah, would. She's, she's up quick enough, she probably would have. That's just me being a hover parent. <laughs> a helicopter mom. You want to talk to me? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. 
Welcome back to Mulberry Branch Farm. We're busy as always. You guys can see Mossy just had two babies. I'm really not sure on the genders yet, but um, I'm kind of glad I was out here. The first one presented just the head, foot was tucked back just a little bit. So it was nice to be able to just grab one foot and head in as mommy has contractions, pulling down towards her feet. Don't want to pull up or out, just down towards her feet. And that second one came out quick as can be. And she's got two on the ground. I don't know if she's gonna do more, but there's two more on the ground. She's being a good mama. Cleaning them up good, yeah, yeah. And you guys probably heard Mark say, she probably would have broken that sack by herself, but I'm right here and I worry that if she weren't to get up to get to the sack or the sack's too strong, baby would actually suffocate in that sack. So it's just something where, and see, she's already cleaning the sack off. You can see what she's doing right now. Look at those two healthy babies. Oh my. Oh my. I don't know if that's it guys, but for right now she's got two. I don't know what they are. I'll let her do her thing. Mossy just gave us a buck in a doe. So the dark one is a doe, and the light one, which is considered a light buckskin, is our buck. And they are beautiful, guys. She did such a good job. What time is it, babe? Five, babe. So it's almost five o'clock. She started laboring probably around 3.30, right as my daughter's getting off the school bus. So about an hour and a half, and it may have seemed like a slow progression, but it's about normal, so. And once she started and the bubble burst, they came just quick as a whip, just like blackberries did. So we're happy to have two more healthy babies. Not, uh, I think we're getting ready to have a third. <laughs> yep, we're getting ready to have a third. We're getting ready to have a third. Oh my God. All right guys, as soon as I said, we've got another one coming and you could hear her grunting. By the time I had turned off the camera and turned around, this little little one had popped right out, just quick as lightning. So I'm sorry we didn't get that on film, but I really thought she might be pushing a little bit longer. So real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and strip out her udder and her teats just to make sure she's got milk in there. She'll let me. She's all stripped out, so that means that the milk's flowing. Then baby shouldn't have to suck too hard, so. Oh my God. So all right, you guys were here for it the whole time. I'm just really glad we could capture this on video for you guys and for you to enjoy the birth like we did. Like Josie said, we did get two bucks and one doe, so we'll be deciding on names for them. So you guys tune in for that, okay? Subscribe and click the notification bell and give a like, please. Thank you. Bye. Until next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.